A leech has spawned.
wrap it up, no monkey. Wrap it up. It's bedtime. Come on. Come on. To bed. Off. No, I just started to stream. No, wait. No, nope, you're done. You're done. Get out of here. No, nope, that's it. Pack it up. Okay. Yeah, GM Waffle. How are we doing? GM Hope? GM Crust Balls? GM Zlowski? GM Hope? Again? Mwah! Yo, GM GM. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will pot. And then we will gamer. I have the right runes, right? Yeah, okay. Are you tired of mundane meals? Spice up your shower routine with a slice of shower pizza. Say goodbye to soggy bottoms and hello to a whole new level of culinary liberation. Embrace the chaos and indulge in the ultimate multitasking marvel. Savoring a cheesy slice while the warm water washes away your worries. So why not have a nice, lovely shower pizza without any greasy fingers or cheesy mess? <laughs> it's fucking gay, that's true. It's honestly accurate. Okay. Just watching the Coliseum update vid? Yeah. Turned out pretty good. Hedron did a good job with it. Uh, okay. Weak ass claws. I died to soul. 64 HP left with pet on the line and posted to reddit to cope as you do <laughs> it's lost man unlucky it do be what it do be it does add a lot of pressure do i lock frailty in a money run i think no okay Yo, coffee with the 15. Thank you so much. What the? Do you have coffee? Yo, I'm on an accurate. All right. Well, we're not getting this skip. Shower beer. All right, that's advanced. <laughs> Have you ever tried oranges in the shower? Experience a sensory delight like no other with our oranges in the shower. Wow. Who's advertising this? Who wants me to do things in the shower? Elevate your daily routine with the invigorating combination of warm water and fresh citrus. Peel back the vibrant skins of our juicy oranges and let their zesty aroma awaken your senses as you indulge in a refreshing shower. Discover a new way to rejuvenate and energize yourself with the uplifting, uplifting essence of orange. Oh, what a deal. What a deal indeed. Are these people who sell showers and oranges? That's, that's, quite, a, that's quite a racket right there. Excuse me, what does this say? Pronounce a word. Okay, what is this? Uh, she, she, e, on skur, on e, re, me, till I, us, sus, us, she, skur, re, till I, o, s, r, s. Geo Blart. That makes sense to me. Yeah, okay. I buy that. Okay. Hi! Yo, GM. Yo, GM Fergie? Well said, GMB7. Are you going to be nicer to me today and play airplane? Does anyone else in the entire chat right now want airplane? A single other person. Yes, I'm amazed. It's actually insane. All right, but the literal best track is playing right now, so I will not play the worst track right now. I will wait.
That's 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 vest prayers. Can you see your log from here? My log? I have a log? Fortis Coliseum. Yeah, that's the one. Not terrible. I'm surprised they put this to 250 splints again. They do that with like mole parts, I think. You're not streaming on KitKat? We start on Twitch and YouTube and then we go over there after two hours. Let me lock my Opia early. Money run. Yo, nice hog. That's not bad. Yo, it's got a good curve to it, my brother. I was going to say this is the fastest I've done this wave, but not anymore. Layer two. Do you crank your hog between Coliseum waves? It does get you ready for soul. Because he does some cranking. This could be tag. Eating dragon fruit in the shower is like having a fruit fiesta. Who the fuck is writing these? <laughs> Why are there three different oh, okay? GBT, it's gotta be. They're off ticks by default, my favorite. Get him, Thrall. A guy. In my clan, backseats my gameplay, and he says, No monkey always solves the wave this wave, and it drives me crazy. Have you considered it have you considered solving it the way I solve it? There's potential there. <laughs> Bro, I fucking hate that. Dude, this really good player, way better than you. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Is he right? That is the real question, yeah. Introducing the hottest party trend of the year. Toaster bathtub raves. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's fucking water world out here. What is going on? Forgot to swap. Whoops. He's washed. <laughs> Truly. Oh, I thought I had myopia too. Come on. 
cringe. Picture the scene. You set up your bathtub rave zone, complete with waterproof speakers, blasting the latest tracks and glow sticks galore. Everybody's ready for the... <laughs> what the fuck is this? All right, dude. All right, I'm good. Uh, sit. Unlucky. Read my last one. Well, eating a burger in the shower might seem unconventional. Some benefits could be imagined. Multitasking. It combines the act of eating with your daily hygiene routine, saving time if you're in a rush. No mess. Eating messy foods like burgers in the shower can be less messy since any spills can be rinsed away immediately. Relaxation. For some people, the combination of eating comfort food like a burger while enjoying a shower can be a relaxing and enjoyable experience. For some people, burgers in the shower could be a good time. There you go. That's reason number three. <laughs> And th these people could include you. You could be one of the one of the people that shower and enjoy burgers while doing it. Think about it. Just a suggestion. Burger bathtub. Burger beer bathtub. <laughs> Is burger considered a messy food? Is it lost? I think they're only messy if they have like a shit ton of sauce. The way you eat it, you're fucking toxic. This is shower beer slander. <laughs> what if some of the sauce drips into the bathwater? Then you've got saucy bathwater, which could be a, a benefit or a negative, depending. The Carl's Jr. commercials. Oh yeah, those are very messy burgers. So messy. Especially when ladies are eating them. They just don't know how to eat burgers. Somebody's got to teach them. I teach them how to eat a burger. <laughs> uh, myopia. Feed me burger. What the fuck, bro? Easy, Max Law. Do you think there's someone else in the world who talked about hypothetical Carl's Jr. burgers and bathtubs? I don't think anyone has ever considered eating a burger in a bathtub before, but possible. Anything's possible. What happened to the RS3 Iron Man series? Uh, lots of bad updates. So I ended up quitting. I wouldn't say I would never go back. It's possible I will in the future, but yeah, for now that's that's peace. Maybe one day they stop um, trying to scrub that game. Spin for one bill. Yeah, that's the new thing. I don't think it's changing, but you never know. Is there a reason for Virtus Top? I can Spellbook Swap to Blood Barrage, which I do in Money Runs. I love reskinning and re-releasing the same cosmetics. Yeah. Yep. A lovely game it is. Um, Doom 2 is freer than Blasphemy. Yo, Syndracula with the 11. Thank you so much. I will soon remember to cancel this. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> well, until then, I'm, I appreciate it. <laughs> what 
ตอบอ uh, could be this if Scythe goes off. Come back from kick and I'll keep it soon, brother. Soon. There's no cheese sauce in Chick Fil A. Yeah, we we did ask. This is a this is a smork only thing, I guess. Unlucky. Um, blast me too at this point. I can't. I'm just chilling. There we go. I probably could have killed the archer, I guess. Bring your own cheese sauce. Dude, if I had my own cheese sauce, I wouldn't be going places. I'd just be eating cheese sauce. You think I'm going to Chick-fil-A if I have cheese sauce? No. Okay, I mistimed that. Spec yet. I'm gonna wait on repotting. Uh, let's get rid of Blasphemy 3. Hopefully this dies before they come out. Very clean, nice. Died on boss with two sunfire bodies? No! It's lost. If you bought Hedron Cash, you'd get you cheese sauce, idiot. I don't think that's how that works. Cat cat does not equal cheese sauce. Bell book swap stalls your thrall. Very cool. All right, we have seven. There we go. Um, I'll be two here. I heard if Hedron gets quest cape, she gets a cat. I don't think that's true either. I don't, I don't know where that was said. No monkey then I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left my Twitch, my kick, and my Insta at the bottom. I sent two letters back in autumn. You must not have got them. What? Unlucky? Yeah, 
Yeah. Let's try not to do that. What if there's a better way than going all the way over here? It might be stand like here. I might try that next time. This guy doesn't listen to music. Bro, it's all beeps and boops. I, I don't know what you want from me. Pronounce a word, I will now play airplane. Speaking of music. Yes! <laughs> That's canon Fergie voice. That's real. <laughs> the sky. Wow, he even heals there. Okay. Thought I was good there. What's the GP an hour for this? I might be able to go Calcut after this. I don't know if the wiki updated. I should just call it Seam Plugin. I wanted the invo where your prayers float around your inventory like a fucking screensaver. That would be rad. Gnome Calc, they just changed all the drop rates though, so. Where it goes. Potted. Whoops. Yeah, I got most of my health back anyways. Cool. Uh, wave 9 is free. Do I take Manti or Doom 3? I think we don't take Doom 3 in a money run. No, I'm reading. Okay, what if I did this? Technology. Airplanes are forever. What does that mean? Do you pay it? No. It's kind of why I'm doing like money runs as well as speeds. This guy must have Coliseum record or something. He's t bowing and running across the room like a goddamn maniac. Is that Crompt in the chat? GMGM?
Cromt is so cute. Cromt is so dreamy. Fancy two. Okay. How does that not cast? Excuse me? That's some baloney. more time. Wow! 3848, really? Understandable. Okay. You just die there. Okay, cool. Holy fuck. All right. 96 potential damage? Yeah, you're taking 96. Fuck you. All right, that stinks. Yo, Din's check? Hey, what's my, uh... What's that old range defense in the setup again? A 328. Yeah, failure. Critical fail. That's crazy unlucky. Wow. Okay. We go again. Okay, I missed an item. Didn't know he took Relentless 3, you legit. <laughs> Thank you. What do you take Ring of Shadows? It holds four types of runes, so I have eight rune types in two inventory slots. Just planked Wave 11, pissed off. At least you didn't take 4838. We, you know, it's something. The small things. Yeah, so I have Cure Me, I have Venge, I have Thrall, I have Death Charge, I also have Blood Barrage, if I start a wave at low health. What does Cure Me do? When the Manticores Venom you, you just spam it twice and it cures it. Doom is good. OP? It's pretty good. I was like clicking Ranger there. I was trying to click the mage. Speeds later? Yeah, I'm just kind of warming up with monies. Alright. No monkey could fit shadow up there. Excuse me? Charged or uncharged? Makes a big difference. Charged? I see. I see a challenge. Okay.
How else could you get the soul runes into the block? What? <laughs> like myopia? Oh, I might have won. I don't know if that would have been fast enough. The Manticore is the slowest death animation. Oh, peace. Um, so Doom 2 is better, but I'm gonna take Blasphemy 3 just to get rid of it. I want new choices. I wanna get Flare. Uh, North is very similar for Venators. It's it's worse for other reasons. Set up? Okay, nice. Cool. <sighs> I don't want to lock Manti. Yeah, okay, my OP too. I could get milked like an SGS. Excuse me? What? He's on tech. We're chilling. I'm just going to venator everything on the planet. What? Guys, three health. First big grind, 91 RC. How much of a step up is Inferno compared to Arceus Blood Runecrafting? <laughs> we'll just leave that one on the fridge. Okay. Excellent. Um, I think Blood Runecrafting actually has far more steps up uh, than Inferno. Inferno is mostly flat, so 
Yeah. Get rid of myopia. You got a mage off. It was humble. Step up and down? That is so true. Let me try something. Oh, okay. Thrall decided we're not trying something. That seemed to work, though. step up and down with Zaya ring crafting so i mean your level elevation at the end of the day up down what does it matter the nihilistic approach to elevation yes you're going up now but you'll go down soon so what does it all matter all that matters is where you end up Uh, okay. In the ground. Maybe Holy. <laughs> deep. This is so deep. The, the hole in the ground. Very deep. Okay. Oh, I thought I flicked them. I did not. Northwest Pillar is worse in every way than South Pillar. The main issue is to rotate stacks. You are pushing out into everything from North Pillar versus South Pillar where you're safe back here. So you can rotate pillars on South Pillar, which you can't do on North Pillar. So that's what really sucks about it. Infernal by jumping into a dark pit. That's true. Okay, I take frailty here. I don't really want Doom 3. Flare does not exist. It's not a real invocation you can get, so that sucks. Can't believe they took it out. I thought it was a ranger over here for some reason. All right, we're good. Stuck at wave five because I'm too pussy to click wave six. Bro, it's just numbers. They can't hurt you, dude. <laughs> it's just a number. <laughs> I 
Wave six? Wave six is lost. Is that flare? It's actually winnable. That's crazy. Oh lord. Four damage. You know, the other time I took 80. A slight difference. Attack delay if Minotaur heals. It's 10 ticks. When's Duo next coming back to the stream? Hedron is locked in Colosseum right now, basically. So we will both go there with quivers. Easy peasy. Hedron is close? Yeah, second time to boss today. So. Oh, we shall see. Big 11. Okay. Starting melee gear. Swap early? Okay, we should be good. A leech has spawned. One is nice. Alright, this is free. Mage block, go. Clean flex. All right, cool. Don't spec. I want to save spec for boss. mage block on northwest side so actually no there's a chance that the mage gets in front of the minotaur and he can't get past him so the mage actually blocks the minotaur a lot of times which means that the mage has to be first no matter what so there's actually good odds on the other side that when you get reinforcements you're getting both mage and minotaur meaning you can't kill the mage because minotaur is healing it and you have to deal with, with what's on the other side so it's really bad. Really, really bad. Oh, 
Oh, double 70s. I'll take that. Okay. I have, like, infinite supplies. We take Flare 3 here. Onyx Bolts isn't bad. I got Splints as well. This is really good loot. That's like a 6 mil loot. Holy. All right. Yeah, I'm going to actually hit this early. Yeah, okay. Cool. Let me mess around with dragging a bit. So the tech should be hammer scythe hammer. It is. Okay, cool. I meant to bench that. It's the other one. Good bench. shield okay so if i swing back on this tick i need to drag him and here it doesn't matter because it was shield okay oops You may hit me. Just kidding. He's already dead. 1748? How is it so fast? What the fuck? That was a money run. That was like insanely fast. That was zoomy zoomy. Okay. I'll take that. Asa did a run faster than that one, and I did a run faster than Asa. Yo, GM Lazlo. 5.5 mil on a 1740. That's uh, that's pretty good GP. Is it worth double hammering? Double hammer's worth it, yeah. It's better than clawing. Any pet getters? He doesn't want to go with. So the the way that attack speed work and what and what I was messing with is that his spear. Okay, so here's how it works. Before. 75% health, his attack speed is 7 tick with the spear and 6 tick with shields. After 75%, he is a tick faster. It's 6 tick attack speed on his spear and 5 tick attack speed on his shield. So, there's a lot of times where you lose ticks because he spears so often. So, if you attack the same tick that the shockwave hits the ground, like, perfectly as it would hit you, then if you don't drag him, you'll waste a tick, but you can actually drag him, delay his next attack, and not waste ticks. So I'm, I'm kind of practicing that. Oh, I thought I was in the bank. Uh, okay. Oops. There we go. Smelled a soul's feet as I died. Felt good. Hot. Hmm, yes, I know some of these words. Hmm, yes. Basically, he's sometimes slow, and you can drag him to make him even slower so you can fit hits. Use darts. Those attack really fast. You can max DPS them. That's true. A leech.
Twitch has spawned. That's a YouTube chat. Are you GM Tivo? Oh. Okay. Okay. Before we before we go, I had a video. <laughs> Unrelated. Hang on a second. Oh, where was it posted? A, a video has been floating around that I quite like. <coughs> Relating to Mr. Stooge. Oh, was it here? Hang on. Yes. Okay. This might be my new favorite video. Okay. The Stooge? The Stooge. Okay, you ready? Here we go. A little bit of backstory before I get into the Inferno Guide. I'm a little bit of backstory. PBM, but I was having a blast watching people stream the new Colosseum challenge on Twitch. Just found it really motivating to see people that are just as bad as me at prey flicking and safe spotting NPCs, and perhaps even worse than me at dealing with game mechanics. To get to the later waves. <laughs> One streamer in particular, who you can see on screen right now, just had attempt after attempt, despite not knowing anything about prey flicking. Anything about how the NPCs move, <laughs> setting up bombs in the waves. Uh, just, just despite all of this, he quite often made it to the later waves. And sometimes he sometimes he makes it. This poor little guy, this poor little fella. Seeing the dedication and mental fortitude he had motivated me to try to go for a quiver myself. And after many, many attempts, I was able to get one. The one thing that caught my eye when I was watching the stream where he finally got his quiver. Is that he somehow has an infernal cape? This guy has an infernal cape. Knowing this guy was quite similar to the Colosseum, and that this guy had managed to do it. I knew I could too. <laughs> How I did it with ease is by equipping tank gear and then just eyeballing where to go based on where the NPCs spawn in the wave. <laughs> I discovered that every single NPC in the infernal waves is a joke, so long as you pray protect from magic. Okay. You can heal up. So before we begin, okay, this is the prologue to the video. This is actually my favorite video of all time. This is called Inferno Giga Tank. The waves are free, all caps. Okay, are you ready? So this man watched Stooge die many, many times in the Colosseum, and he is just showing all the clips of him dying. And now he's going to show you, after he was inspired by this poor fellow Stooge getting his quiver, how you can do Inferno. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Okay. To die. And with all of that said, let's get into the guide. Let's get into the guide. All right, here's a setup. All right, this is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the setup, boys. <laughs> okay, so we have. <laughs> we are wearing full dusty ACP Ellie. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and you're like, okay, this is like a meme, right? So he's just like, he's trolling. But the man legitimately marked like a million times. I don't know what these tiles are for. Um, maybe he's just marking tiles to look like it means something. And he's just, he's just going around and he's clicking things with his max tank. Easy five hour PP. <laughs> how incredibly easy this is to do it is i don't know who this is or why they hate stooge this is surely a meme i don't i don't know the context i have to know is it like one of stooge's like chatters who hates him or he's doing his best be nice <laughs> why'd he put stooge on blast i don't understand this is absolute gaming by the way Check out what he starts doing in the late wave. This is a 20 minute video, by the way. The whole thing is here. Okay, let's go like later on. Like, what are we doing here? Same here. Bath and Ranger on us. All right, let's go like deep. All right, the deep waves. Why not? A leech has spawned. We'll have a bunch of stuff to heal up on. This is 59. All right, wave 60. Including the nibblers of the next wave. Wave 60. Nothing spawned on the north side, so just a matter of dealing with the stacks. Immediately, <laughs> but then he gets let out by the. Uh, Does he flick the blob? I don't think so at all. Spawn on top of each other, just like if you run over them, they. He literally was just sitting there, not praying. Each other, 
they just start walking in ways that they would not always be able to. Full heal. Uh, Look at the splash like, count, man! Health, but I just started praying. There was a point where he started healing on a mage in full Justy, and I almost lost chests. it. Always have the option of saving Bruce if you want to. I think it's like 61 or 62. It's gotta be the next one. Here we are, just... It has to be a joke? No, this, there, there's no way it's not. I'm just confused, like, who... Like, why? <laughs> There's just so much effort for, like, a shit post. Because, like, he actually went and did a run in this. This is way better than that No Monkey Guy shit Inferno Guide. That's so true. If you want the pillar achievement, you can get it. Estimating whether you're being chanced or not from the projectiles coming at you, which is I switched into the mage gear with the hack top, so I lose just this year's spawned. side effect. And <laughs> <laughs> so why get good at the game when tank go bird? Yeah, why? The it's got to be on 63. I want to see him casting at the mage. I, uh, I swear it's this one. That if you do switch into mage gear in this exact setup, you do lose the set effect. And a massive amount of branch defense. No, maybe it's 64. Just the top. It's incredible, though. This is actual gaming. Watching Stooge do Coliseum was top tier content. I missed out. I missed out. I was too busy gaming myself. It's lost. Is using the blowpipes back to heal. Like I said, I didn't. And no monkey says defense doesn't matter in this game. SMH my head. I wanted to simulate how it would be for someone to not have blowpipes. Surely this one. Just do it very rarely. Just. He's literally not preying on the melees. I want to speed things up, but you can imagine that you will be like surely satire. There's no, things. there's no way. Just okay, here we go. Heal, 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 heal. Back all the time. In a two and a half hour fight, oh, sorry, Inferno. There is about the. To... Just can't mage pray and heal. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. Hang on, can I slow this down? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is the ultimate. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute. We we almost have normal speed. It's still slightly sped up. <laughs> Bro, it just works. It just works. He's just full tanking the ranger and healing on it. And now we're healing the mage. Yes. <laughs> Oh, he does do the armor takeoffs. I couldn't tell. Okay. All right. All right. He can't be wasting prayer on the melees. Yeah, you can't. He didn't show the Zuck. So I'm assuming he didn't kill that guy. Sorry, let me... Because it just kind of ends. No uh, like on 66. The yeah, he just he just ends. But I'm, I'm going to assume that we did not get the Zuck. But he, he did clear the waves. He did. It did happen. He did only have like two restore left, so... And the light bearer. So for a max tank um, ACB attempt on Zuck, it's probably not going to happen. I'm going to say. Probably. Who is this? Hang on. I'll link it. Oops. There we go. Hang on one second. This is Frober. Here's the link if you want. There you go. He just nuked Zuck. He killed him so fast he didn't even see it. <laughs> What's the vid called? I'm going for first cape soon. I need to watch. It's very good for a first cape. Is that video in the Inferno Speed Resources Discord? I, I sure hope so. It better be. It better be. I don't know how anyone would get a cape without that guy. I need to send a friend who is 60 plus attempts deep no cape. Yeah, if you would just quit trolling and actually bring full tank instead, it, it would probably work better. Please read the, oh yeah, the Stooge comment. Okay. From Mr. Stooge, here it is, the top comment on this video. Thanks for the shout out, but should have checked my Inferno VODs for tips. This looks just painful, bruh. And he says, I don't know who you are, but your videos all seem very old and there is a lot of new techniques out there now, period. <laughs> what a guy, what a fucking guy. <laughs> Oh, man. If you don't know who Stooge is, by the way, if you're lacking context, Stooge is top five Inferno speedrunner. He's one of the best players in the game. 
<laughs> he just fucking... <laughs> he just full roasted him. Unlucky. Uh, okay. Back to getting money. My man said, who? <laughs> who? I don't know who that is though. It has to be, it has to be a joke. There's no way it's real, but I don't know the, I don't know why. The why or the how? This has a very similar energy to when Titter Twitter slammed you for yellow clicking Big Beefy, but only because Heatron posted it. Dude, that was, I was reading that. That was crazy. The comments on that tweet, holy fuck. They were brutal. Like if I was the one who posted it, it'd be fine. Titter? Yeah, change the name from X back to Titter. Like, pretty much every single comment was, you misclicked fucking dumbass skill issue. I, if I post that, I, I don't get a single comment like that. Unbelievable. That's crazy. Freudian nip slip. Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. Do you have the tweet, October? Do you have that? I'd like to look at it. it it's crazy. Like, if I posted that, I would not get a comment like that. Not one. <laughs> Literally just because Hedron posted it. I'm like, okay. Jesus Christ. Like, absolutely savage. Give me a sec. That was wild to me. The most sane comment is why you click his balls. <laughs> So this was from the um, the run where I was looking at click boxes and how bad they are. Uh, by the way, they're really, really bad. Um, and we were looking at the click boxes and how bad they are. And Hedron took a screenshot of a misclick that resulted in me taking 150 damage. And then posted that adding Nox asking to fix the click boxes. Uh, hold on. And this was it. So it was, this yellow click resulted in death and many before it. Please fix the hitbox. Why are they so bad? So this is the image. So I clicked right here between his fucking legs. Um, I had Manticore Mayhem. I, I took like 150 damage stack after this click. This was the end. I took the flare and I took a Manticore and a range hit. And I was insta-smited. So I took the full Manticore... And that was it. Why are you aiming for the Elite balls, bro? Spawned. So, like, yeah, fix the shit. There's no reason it can't wrap the click box around. That shit is so annoying. He literally, like, pushes his leg forward and it's even harder to click. Click his cock. So the comments are like, uh, have you tried clicking the boss? The intrusive thoughts are winning. Sounds like a skill issue. Um, there's Blart. Yo, GM to Blart. You missed the game is demanding. Skill issue TBH. You clicked in between the legs with an empty void. I don't see a 10 incher hanging down there. <laughs> Showing yourself missing completely is crazy tech. Skill issue. Click better. Click on head. Camera plug in and you misclicked. Skill issue. Um, he hit the dab on you sit. You clicked between his legs. What do you expect? The amount of times I've died at Warden Phase 1 because of this is hilarious. There's like a handful that are like sane. 
Huge click boxes you can't avoid are worse. That's just a bad take. Bad bait. You missed it. You didn't click on it. Get good. You suck. The Overwatch hitbox update was for people like you. Nerd. I found the problem. You didn't click him. Hope this helps. Why are you trying to click his nuts? You didn't click the monster. Wow. What an experience. <laughs> Good lord. There is no there is no chill. Show the hidden replies. Yeah, they're pretty bad. <laughs> I won't show those, they're that bad, but uh yeah. Impressive stuff, truly. I, I don't know if that's literally because like girl posted it or what, but like if I posted that I would not get I would I would not receive like hate of that level. Like, what the fuck? That's so uncalled for. I'm so confused. <laughs> huh? It is? It's so sad. Fucking cringe. I, I haven't ever seen something like that. Like, that's absurd. You haven't? I'm never on Twitter, to be fair. Like, fuck Twitter. I don't know if this is just a Twitter thing or what, but... Are we hating on Hedron? It's me clicking! <laughs> we must protect you? Okay, I, I don't go on Twitter. Yeah, that's absurd. You can't just click the balls. You gotta first caress them. Take them out to dinner first. That's true. Twitter seems wild. It's a crazy place. I can't believe that click didn't go off. How about this for a click box? Let me see. It's Elon Musk's hellhole. Unlucky. <laughs> Surely I beat this. Four damage. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay, so I actually went and looked at his hitboxes. Here you go. Here's the click. So the the click is on his spear. So how this works at Soul is he's actually a giant box. Okay, he's a giant blob box. I'll show you the mage a second, so you have an idea. Um, hang on, click box. I went and looked at everything. Serpent, shaman. Okay, see that? See how it's just a giant box? Okay, this is the only thing that is like that in the entire uh, in the entire Coliseum. Here's the um the jaguar. Jaguar warrior. Oh, I put a comma in the wrong spot. There we go. Okay, so this is how most of the mobs are drawn. They're, they're like accurately traced to an extent. To the point where they have like awkward pixels underneath them and shit like that. Right? That's the actual click box. Okay, here's the Colossus also. Right? So you can see how often you like misclick between his legs. You can't really see it well from here. Hang on. Let me get his animations going. Like, see this huge gap between his legs? Like, it's pretty easy to misclick between those. Beefy's the worst hitbox. Beefy's the worst hitbox. Um, so we looked at Soul. Soul actually has a hitbox just like the Shaman, where it's a giant box around him. Except his spear extends out of it. So it's morphing the hitbox to his spear that's, like, sticking out. So when he stabs forward, the whole, like, point of the spear you can click on. 
So Soul is actually like probably the least bad hitbox, and it's still bad. Beefy's the worst one. Here, I will highlight Minotaur. And we'll see it in a second. I have one more wave. Minotaur is the worst click box. Uh, lock and frailty one. Yo, GM Vicon. All of us talk about hitboxes just hitting the damn thing. Skit, skish you, boy. There's a bit of a there's a bit of a skish you out there. Ooh, awkward click. Okay, we're good. Um, he's gonna pull around if I don't kill this one first, so we better do that. No range pot. There we go. A leech has spawned. Minotaur heal tile. Uh, this one? That's for when you don't have something up here to block uh, beefy, and something's over here that you've been hitting. If you don't get to this tile, it heals it. So you gotta run over there. Right, let's see the beefster. Uh, we'll lock in Doom 2. Get it, Thrall. Oh, Venge does it. A okay, cool. Okay, new monkey technology. Okay, cool. Read all your books. Life is good. Oh yeah, beefy hitbox, all right? So he not only shuffles his legs when he attacks, the gap between them is just... Like, why? If he was just a big box... This wouldn't fucking happen. He's literally like the size of your player model is the gap in him. It's like, this is where you would click normally. You're like, he's a giant player model. And then all the way up to, literally your character doesn't even stand up to his fucking cock. I'm in cock sucking range. You click right here. That's like the default. Your camera zoomed in a little bit. You're like, bam, click. The perfect height. It's so good. Mm hmm. Yes. Yeah, that sucks. It, it's so bad I'm just leaving that click box highlighted from now on. I literally keep it highlighted for speedruns because I, I don't want that. First of all, you can't even click him when he comes out of the gate because he has this weird like walking out of the gate animation. So highlighting it actually lets you click him. But he's not there. Why would clicking there work? That's true. You know, sometimes you want to like you click the area of a monster. You're like, you know what? 
Yeah, the Minotaur is in front of me. I want to actually turn my camera, and I actually want to click directly through him behind him at this tile. That's where I want to click. That's really where I want to go right now. That that was my intention with that click was to go there. My intention was not attack Big Beefy. It was it was escape the arena. I wanted to run to the exit. That's where I wanted to go. Bit of a skill issue. Okay. I was hoping I could off ticket it, like off spawn, but this works. Minotaur was John Cena in a past life, dude. I think I get one more swing. I hit nine. Cool. I love that for me. Can't see John Cena? Can't click Minotaur. It's free. Look at this dude. Like, why? Why draw this accurately? Just, like, fucking draw around it. Just make it a box. Like, why draw hitboxes at all? No one is clicking here and going, you know what? I want to run through him. I'm, I'm clicking his armpit right now. Yeah, I want to click right here. That's where I want to go. This tile over here in the wall. That's where I'm trying to run. That's my goal. Port Kazard would. He'd click between the armpit and it would be intentional. I've been clicking a store so the whole time. You've been playing it right. You've been playing it right. A leech has spawned. Aiming for for schlong. You you you're aiming for schlong too. Don't fucking lie. Don't pretend. Don't pretend you're all high and mighty. I don't want that schlong. Yeah you do. Yeah you do. Shut up. Yo, Jim Hoshi. A leech has spawned. What have I tuned into? Yo, GM Cardiac. Yo, shout out, by the way. Alright, there we go. We were looking at bad hitboxes. And crazy, crazy, crazy tweets. Damn, he got a melee off. Gotta pop badge, 8 a.m. Gotta meet the sister for the first time in six years. Oh shit! Well, enjoy that, Vicon. See you later, man. Holy. You know what the worst part of Minotaur is? You know what the worst part? They drew around his tiny ass fucking tail. Like, thank you. Thank you so much. That's huge for the account. Thank you for catching that. <laughs> Fuck off. That's not his tail. You know, if it was a bit longer, I wouldn't misclick. It's unlucky. Observe this image. Yeah, what you got? No monkey in the picture, not me. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked, he drawn. That's all I can say. Holy. Dude, it's crazy. It's actually wild. Oh, I think this is a relentless angle. Yeah. Nice. 
No monkey would never misclick like this. A girl would though. Ew. Um, okay. Uh, fuck. Okay, this is gonna be awkward. This is a bad stack. Okay, I'll have to take it. Okay, it's right after he attacks. Why so mean to Hedron? The tweet was horrible. Like, that's what we're looking at. People on Twitter are actually insane. I'm just gonna bow you down. This is EVA. This is a money run. You think this Ring of Shadow spellbook swap tech has any potential other places? Um, people have tried it with uh, Inferno. I've tried it also. It's almost impossible. This is like high high skill cap task shit to like spellbook swap in Inferno. But in theory, you could. Did you read the new blog post on the weaknesses? Yeah, we can go over it. I'll do that after this. We went over it last night, like, as it came out. The the important takeaways from that blog are, um... Oops. We're good. Important takeaways from that blog are that... Um... Tebow is no longer beset Nex. Um, ZCB is actually 9% better now. So they're making Nex specifically weak to crossbows for some fucking reason. Um, so that's cool. Um, and then Zara, I think Biss is now Harmstaff. Those are like the main changes. Um, oh, we're on wave 11. I'm kind of low restore here. I'm low everything. This sucks. I have Relentless. Oh man, this is rough. Uh, I'm going to start in Blood Barrage. All right. I should have thralled first. Uh, frailty two here. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, not over Fang, but it's much closer. I don't know what they're doing. I have no idea why they're doing the things they are doing. He's mage, of course he is. <sighs> okay. They, they had some reasoning for like Literally, who asked? They had some reasoning of like, oh yeah, ZCB was always the intended method. But they literally had, I remember week one, I remember when it came out, Arcane was like, guys, there's actually a method nobody's using yet. When we didn't have monster examine, guys, there's a method that nobody's using. Everybody's ZCB camping. There's actually a method that nobody found. No one is stabbing the boss. So what do you mean ZCB was always intended? What does that mean? So, like, when did that change? I don't... Do we just forget about that? So, like, no, stab was clearly the intended method the whole time. So, like, that shit was wild. Yeah, that was wild. That was silly on its own, but... I can't remember what that was. It was, like, a Discord post or a tweet. That was something like that. Um, all right, let me think on this. 
Okay, I know what to do. Ugh, this is awkward. Okay, there we go. Much better. It was a live stream? Oh, I don't remember that. Okay. said OG Nex was weak to bolts. Okay, so OG Nex, what people used was chaotic crossbow and one other weapon. Can anybody guess what that one other weapon was? Any, any, any ideas? Does anybody know what weapon might have been used on Nex besides the chaotic crossbow? Chaotic Maul! Close. Oh, Rapier! Yes, chaotic rapier. I remember that. Rapier, rapier, rap, rapier. Stab weapon, pokey pokey stick was used. Weird. Wooks used Maul for solo. Yeah, because he was flinching and he was red Xing and keeping it in place. Wrap this. Yeah, so if you were going to red X next and keep her in place and flinch her the whole time and never take damage, you would use an Elder Maul as well. <laughs> All I used back in RS3 to kill next, it was gaming. Uh, I'm gonna go Totemic here, because it should only spawn one. All right, keep the uh, preserve on. I'm a man. But you're doomed, no monkey. Oh, I should have been benched for that. Unlucky. I see you. 22. That was very slow. Unlucky. All right, we can look at the blog. Wow, that was really good loot again. Look at all the splints. Back to back, five plus mil chests. All right. I'll take that. Pet getters? Not today. Not today. Taking damage reduces glory, and glory does something. Probably. All right, let's take a look. The next thing is weird. What else are they doing? Okay, so if you aren't keeping up on the on the project rebalance here's what it's doing okay they have added elemental weaknesses which increases max hit and accuracy with a given style and they have added split ranged weaknesses meaning heavy which is crossbow ballista standard which is bows 
and light, which is things like blowpipe, knives, that kind of thing. Okay. A leech has spawned. They should pull this. No, they're just doing it. Okay. All right. So here's what they're doing. Th these. These changes. Okay. So this is a big list. All right. What, so what matters here? All right. Let's quickly run through rapid fire blitz mode. Okay. What matters? Nubis. Nubis. Harm staff. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Nubis for level 50 mage. Air surge on Barrows Brothers. Doesn't matter, 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 and doesn't matter. Okay, do you get all that? So we have new bis for 50 mage, and we have new bis for Zora, and everything else is completely irrelevant for all accounts. Do you know what harm max hit on Vespula portal is? I calc, it's not worth it, ever. To sum up, none of this matters. Yeah. To sum up, nothing matters. Yeah, exactly. So Zalra has Biss harm stuff. And they changed all these... High, there's like Serb has water weakness. This is all stupid because these all have really high mage level. You're not going to air 30% air weakness. Like, why? Okay. Yeah, so... Um, and then they have the, the breakdown. Zalra... Okay, this is an interesting line. And it makes sense, actually, once you break it down. It sounds funny at face value, but it makes sense, okay? Zalra having a weakness applied means that a regular Trident of the Seas should no longer outperform the Harmonized Nightmare Staff and Fire Surge there. And that sounds funny, which it is, um, because they nerfed Toma Fire, and yes, Harm Staff was worse than a regular Trident of the Seas. So that's why they gave Zalra weakness. Was so that wasn't so funny. So there you go. Have you seen the Grinch live action where he throws depressing mail into all the Who's mailboxes? Dude? Uh, no, I haven't seen that. <laughs> huh? I don't get the tome nerfs. I get what they're trying to do, but it does make it look really funny. Instead of just not nerfing the tome. I feel like they're not succeeding with any of this. Okay, what? what is the point? What is the point? What is the point of this? Let's look for it. Why are we doing this? Add some spice, add some zest, add some flavor. Give you a reason to use the standard spellbook. Is that the idea? Okay. If that's the case, you're still not using it. Ever. Ever for any reason. Chromatic dragons have had 50% water weakness applied. You're not killing metal dragons. Ever. So like, all metallic dragons have had 50% earth weakness, which has no tome. So you're not going to do that. New gear from new updates. So the new gear is going to what? Let me kill metal dragons better? The super water staff? I don't understand. Who is this for? It's for low level irons doing slayer. What is the point of this? I don't know XD. <laughs> if you're like looking at these and going, ooh, that sounds interesting, right? Oh, Kefri? Dude, Kefri has... Equivalent of like a 40,000 mage defense roll. It's it's like killing Tecton is maging Kefri. You're insane if you mage Kefri. You are a maniac. You are actually unhinged and you should be locked up. So to make Kefri a little weak to fire is like... Who, who is this for? What is the point of this? It's for region locked accounts? Maybe. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's so pointless. Abyssal portal. You're not going to fire surge abyssal portal. You're not going to do that. I calced it. It's not worth it ever. It's still worse than Tebow and still worse than Shadow. But even if you didn't have those, you still don't want the spellbook. The 0.001% of players. It's not for endgame. Then who is it for? Then who is it for? That's my question. We have the Barrel's Brother buff for 50 mage. And we have the new Zalra Biss. That is the whole list of changes. That's it. That's the only thing where anything changes. It's not for mid-game. It's not for mid You say that and you think it is. It's for mid-games. Are you going to start water surging Serb? Is this a thing you're going to do? Please. Who is this for? You're not going to do that. Because it's not fucking worth it. It's for me. <laughs> you're not going to do this. It's not worth it. This is like 8th Biss. I might be bringing Surge for Kefri. This is tech. Maybe for your zero, it's it's okay. For your zero level entry mode. I don't know, man. Redditor hat's going on. 
those are a bit questionable. Most of these are a bit questionable. I'd say all of them are a bit questionable, actually. Okay, so these are just the, the elemental weaknesses, okay? All right, that's our list. And they have the, the breakdown here if you want to read it. Ghosts are anything vaguely made up of wobbly air is weak to air. So, like, very clearly well thought out. Okay, so ranged weaknesses, okay? A leech has spawned. So, the ranged weaknesses allows them to do the following things. They can add heavy weakness. So, things are weak to crossbow. And they're also weak to ballista, but you're not shooting a ballista at things because you could just use a crossbow, right? They're weak to the same thing. So, they can add weakness to crossbow. They can add weakness to Tebow slash Bofa, and they can add weakness to Blowpipe. This is what it does. So this doesn't change where you bring any items. It doesn't change what you're doing. You're not going to start ballistaing things. You're not going to start throwing dragon knives at things. You're not doing that. That's, that's out. Out. You're not doing that. This might enable you to crossbow over Blowpipe, or bow over Blowpipe, or bow over crossbow, or et cetera, et cetera. Okay? That's what this enables them to do. Why? I already have a reason to use all these items. So what is this doing? You can swap to Ballista for the finisher. This is Giga. What is this doing? What is the point of this? I don't understand. I already use all four of those weapons everywhere, except Bofa, because I have a T-Bow, but those are in the same tier, right? What is this doing? I already have reasons to use all of these weapons in different places. In fact, I also bring them to raids. I bring multiple bows. I bring blowpipe, T-bow. Sometimes even a ZCB. I'll, I'll bring all of those to raids, to everywhere. Overkill potential. So what is this enabling them to do? I love your hat. Why, thank you. I'll give it a spin for you. Putting javelins in my quiver right now. All right. So anyways, what did they change with this update? Okay. So this doesn't change the, the, the flavor. This isn't going from vanilla to chocolate ice cream. It's still vanilla ice cream. Just maybe with flakes of vanilla in instead. It's a slightly different vanilla ice cream. Okay. All right. What have we got? Next. Heavy weakness added. All right. Here we go. Heavy weakness added. The reasoning here is that crossbows were always meant to excel at next, but are largely outclassed by Osmumpton's Fang. While the Fang is always going to be good against Xeros' most fearsome general, doubling down on your bolts, offering more bang for their buck is something we'd like to do. Why? 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 For what reason? You already are using a crossbow. So what is this doing? Because fuck you. You... Did Nex need to be killed slightly faster? What is the point of this change? Isn't the boss boring enough? Yes, now we need to crossbow it. It was cool that finally with Quiver, your Tebow was just barely beating it. But now they buff crossbow here, so... Did they determine the kill times were too slow? What is the point of this change? What What is this? What is... What is I don't understand. <laughs> I truly don't. Zeros most fearsome general. Is Zamorak a joke to you? Oh, that's some deep lore. That's deepest lore. This is okay. So what this change means, um, if you don't know, how this changes the meta. If this were to go in right now, as it is in the beta, this is how it is. Okay. Tebow is no longer bis by one percent in max range. It is now worse by nine percent. So ZCB camp is nine percent better than Tebow. Okay. It is not better than Fang. It is 35% better than Fang instead of 50%. Sorry, Fang is 35% better than ZCB Camp instead of 50% better. Okay, so that gap is closed a bit. And ZCB spec is now the BIS spec slightly over Void Waker. So you stop bringing Void Waker. So this is what the change means. ZCB matters a lot more and you don't need to bring a Void Waker anymore. This spec is better. So you know those really cool switches you do? Let me give an example. Those really cool switches you could do where you have a lot of range switches on. You know, this this skill expressive thing that's really cool. You know, when you're running up to the boss, let's say from Alter, and you're doing one of these and clicking the boss. You know that really difficult switch that's really fun? This being the only place that has that? Yeah, don't do that anymore. You just click it with a ZCB. That's sick. I get to bring another brew. Fuck yeah. So I I made I made the new meta setup for next. This is it. Hang on. 
This is new meta. Uh, yeah, it's this guy. Okay, this is what it was. This was meta. Um, hang on. Okay, pretend this is Thrall Runes, right? This this was meta. You could bring something like this um, for your Void Waker to like buff the spec or like, I don't know, a blowpipe for Reavers, something like that, right? That, an extra item of some kind. You don't need all these restores, okay? So something like that is meta. Okay, so now it is just this. That's, wow. This has really spiced up my life. So they've just reduced the skill cap at next, which was, that was like the one thing keeping it fun. Brain just exploded. This has truly improved the content. So like, why? Why D did next just need to be killed a little faster? Do you have to do a range swap for a ZCB spec now? Yes. 110s are dopamine. That's true. If your main DPS is Fang and full Torv and your spec is Masori ZCB, won't you have to do full switches more often than just the one-way Void Waker? So the times you're Void Wakering, let's think about this. Coming back from Alter, or when she swaps to Deflect Melee on P5, right? For both of these, you want to swap into Melee, do the full spec, and swap back. It encourages swapping, having Void Waker be the spec over ZCB. And I could see why you'd be like, well, isn't that just the same? It's not, though. It's it's not. It's genuinely not. And it's small. It doesn't matter that much. But why are we encouraging people to use ZCB, the lower skill item? What is the point of this? Sunlight crossbow? The fuck, man? Oh, I'm not wearing... I'm not wearing prims. You would be wearing prims. What about the Void Waker nerfs? So, fun fact, development on that. We've been saying that this is really stupid because... This is just making Void Waker worse. So new development on that is this. Uh, it's mentioned in next week's news post, but we also make it clear that we're not strongly attached to some of the changes and we're fully cognizant that the Void Waker is probably the one we've been most requested to not touch. We'll see if that persists. So not confirmed, but they're aware that people don't want Void Waker nerfed. So I guess they're not nerfing it. I don't know if that's directly in line with crossbow buff. Why, why do we need to, why do we need to buff crossbow in specific places? What is the point of this? You already used crossbow. Okay, what's the other change? Oh, this is a very important change. All right, Vespula flying light weakness added. So Vespula herself, not the portals, weak to blowpipe. I, it just doesn't matter. Uh, sorry. You know what you could do? If you really wanted Vespula to be weak to blowpipe, you know what you could do? I have I have a solution that doesn't involve adding a bunch of split weaknesses. Are you ready? Vespula. This is crazy. This is going to get deep. You make this number zero. Okay, so what's the what's the new weakness with this? Out of curiosity, what does this do? What is the new number on Vespula? Let me pull up the chart. They have a spreadsheet. What does it change her weakness to? All right, Vespula. Let's see, Vespula. Where is Vespula? Is it alphabetical here? I'm blind. Uh, okay, they put some. Where is it? Ves Vespula. Am I, am I blind? There it is. Okay. Oh, it's just out of order alphabetically for no reason? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Came after W. Okay, whatever. It's 20. It's, it's 20. It's 20. So you know what would make Blowpipe good? If instead of being specifically weak to light for 20 range defense, you just make her range defense 20. That's crazy. That's crazy right now. Wow. This update is very important. 
There's no way to do it in current engine. There's absolutely no way. We have to re... <laughs> Impossible. Get the science. If you want Blowpipe to be good at Vespula, just change the range defense. This has worked for every monster in the game. What if you want Tebow to be Biss at next? Okay, I want Tebow to be Biss at next. How do I do that? What do I change? What number could I change? Maybe this one? Maybe make this a lower number. What if you want Crossbow to be better? What if you want Crossbow to be good? Make this number higher. I think you're missing the point of splitting out range weaknesses. Why shouldn't it match melee approach? These options are not equal. It's not, you're not choosing between a four tick mace, a four tick rapier, and a four tick sail door. You see how these are all the same? You see how these all do the same thing? Just with slight differences in defense. So the only change is which one you pick. Those are all the exact same, exact same max hit, almost exact same accuracy. So with ranged weapons, you have a blowpipe that shoots two tick. You have a Tebow that shoots slow. These are not equal already. These are different. That's one tick. <laughs> and then you have crossbows, which are five tick, but they're different because crossbow is better against much higher defense target. They're going to find you. Stop. This is stupid. They don't need to match because the weapons already have a good meta. They <laughs> There's no two tick bow. There's no two tick fucking crossbow. These aren't, okay, there's like hunter's crossbow, right? There's MSB, but these aren't good. These aren't weapons you're gonna use. You get what I'm saying? So they're not equal. They don't need the same thing melee has. This is pointless. Replace the sound files for your ranged weapons to the sounds you just made. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like the whole elemental thing is that they plan bringing weapons that have those elemental styles and not just spells. Maybe? Are they adding a two-tick ballista or a, a four-tick ballista or a two-tick crossbow or maybe? Why are we doing this right now? Can it wait? <laughs> what is the point of this? Why are all hands on deck on this? I don't understand. There's got to be something going on in the background, right? Surely? I don't understand. Okay, anything else that matters, that was it. Okay, so the big takeaway. Big takeaway, if you missed it, all right? Zalra new bis is harm staff. Barrows Brothers new bis is air surge. And this is also better than I... I'm not 100%. I think air wave is probably better than Ibans. Okay, and that's it. Those are the only changes that matter for elemental weaknesses. For next, arbitrarily crossbow will be better now than Tebow, and it is a better spec than Void Waker. And then that's it. Those are the changes that matter. Those three mobs. Check mod chatting? Yeah, hold on. I fixed the hitbox. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm not showing that. Holy. Harm is best at Zalra. I, I can't calc it because the calc is wrong. It doesn't have her max hit cal, her, her max hit cap. But from rough calcs I do, it looks like Harm Staff was better than Shadow. It's much, much more accurate than it was as well. So show it on kick. I have the power. Camp Zebo at next. No, it is not better than Thang, but you will stop t bowing the boss. You have to ZCB next. And also you will stop using Void Waker. You will not Void Waker next, you will ZCB next. Okay, so those are the big changes. Everything else is fluff. Everything else is fluff. Nothing else matters. All the boss changes, all the mob changes, none of this matters. Tebow still better than ACB? No. ACB is better than Tebow. Because it, it just needs to be. Mage meta a little bit as it feels like shit if you don't have a shadow, but the range stuff. Okay, but they're failing at that, if that's the goal. Shake up mage meta. You still don't use standard spellbook anywhere. I can see where their head's at, but yeah, I'm, these, these changes aren't it. Would you still bring Tebow for the corner minions? Yes, it's worth it, but you have to ZCB next. 
Um, anything else that matters here? Oh, last thing. The last important thing is next week we will talk about more specifically item rebalance. We will be back next week to talk more specifically about item rebalancing and more combat PVM focused changes. We'll be looking at things like auto cast delay removal. That's huge. Drop rate adjustments, minimum hit changes. So that's that's the zero the zero as your minimum hit. That'll be gone next week. This is massive for Scythe and Blowpipe. It's a 4% DPS buff for both Scythe and Blowpipe, I think, across the board. So that's really good. Um, small raids focus tweaks, specifically to the path of App Mechan in Toa and to Verzik, with only one player remaining inside Tob. So we're getting one Red Crab and something to Monkey Room next week. Whatever that is. I'm, I'm guessing pillar removal, but I, I don't know. It can't be something big. Uh, that's interesting. Some improvements to early game prayers and loads more. Okay. I don't I don't mind the early game prayer thing. I think that is really stupid. The early game prayers are completely useless, so they probably needed a change. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Spawn all monkey waves at once in though. Get it over with. That's true. My takeaway is that elemental weaknesses and range weaknesses is silly, and we're dipping into the engine for no reason when it doesn't change anything. So that's my take. Eh. Okay. Anyways. It's about that time. Solo top update is a banger. I'll be doing lots of solo top. For sure, for sure. That's super sick. What about Soul Reaper Axe buff? I don't know when that is. I don't know. And this is what he said on Twitch. Imagine the same take on kick. It's probably unhinged. All right, boys, we are swapping platforms. We are going from Twitch and YouTube to kick.com. If you aren't sure about following me there, I, I'm streaming hella hours on kick. If you aren't sure about following me there, it's the same UI as Twitch, just with no ads. So it's kind of nice. There's still seven TV. It's, it's got everything. So yeah, gosh. Top changes, it's one red crab in solo. So you don't have to do the 15 minutes of tick eating. So it's huge for solos. All right, boys. I will see you over there. One second.